What's up everyone, it's Jan Boers, new video and today I'm going to talk about Sanremo 2024 and for whom, who does know me already, you know that this is my favorite national selection for Eurovision ever. And I know you will say that it's not a national selection. Actually, it's Italian national selection. Who is the best singer? Who has the best song? Basically the same what Eurovision is, right? Actually, this is the roots of Eurovision. The roots with the big R. It's about the artist who can perfectly sing. It's about the artist who can perfectly, perfectly present their song. It's about the perfect song and it's about the strongest, strongest and strongest of the industry of this year. And this is fascinating because no one can really match Italy in this. No one has such strong selection. No one has such strong artists in general. Like if I take the quantity, you know, the in national selection normally you have like two, three, maybe four if you're very lucky, like very strong artists. And then the rest are like, I don't want to say secondary or B or something like this, but the quality is different. Sanremo, it's amazing for the fact, I think this is very similar to Ukraine, but even better at my point of view, is that very often there are like top 10 songs with top 10 artists and each of those songs will compete for winning Eurovision or at least top 5, top 10, the worst, you know, and this is exceptional quality and that also means that the country takes its music industry and TV industry in general very very seriously and then the connection with Eurovision just makes it even better. Let's talk. Diodato was a favorite in 2000s when, when 2020s were when they cancelled Eurovision for obvious reasons and he never came back so this is the chance. Deodato T Movi. And I will write him here. Cosa ci fai qui? Non vorrei mica deludermi. It would be bad to be after that, probably. Again. Abbiamo stretto insieme per tenerci lontano. E già mi parli così. I like the costumes from San in Sanremo. They're changing them all the time. Beautiful song. I think the previous song he had, which one Sanremo was better. Already I can tell this. I'm, I'm telling this. But his voice is amazing. How seamlessly he's put it. Good. Okay. That's the first staging of Sanremo I've seen in ages, probably. Like a real something unusual. Oh my god, but that makes the songs look just better. <laughs> it's kind of funny, also, in a good way. Okay, I like. You know how visual visuals blow your mind? Don't underestimate visuals, also. Don't overdo them. Of course, you cannot have so many dancers at Eurovision at an interval like this. But this looks amazing. Good. The performance actually good. Somehow saved the day and also the elevation, elevation of the song was amazing. For me this this was amazing. That the, the song elevation was principally very well done. Only thing is that the song didn't catch my heart. Somehow it didn't work out. Maybe today I'm just completely, you know, cold person. Well, and that's it. If you have anything else to say, write me in the comments below. If you would like me to do whatever differently, write me in the comments below. And also, don't forget to check my other videos or last year's Sanremo videos, which I was doing. And 
yeah thank you for watching guys see you next time don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like this video don't forget to ring the notification bell don't forget to buy me a coffee and also no there's nothing also i already said everything thank you for watching bye and that's it